Are you struggling to come up with the time to get all of the content out that you want on your YouTube channel? Did you know that you can edit small clips from longer videos in Canva? I'm going to show you two different ways. The first is for a landscape video and the second is for a YouTube short, which could also be used as Instagram Reels, TikToks, whatever. Let's go to video. You can upload something in the uploads folder or you can upload something in a folder so that you're organized from the get-go. So we're going to do that. We're going to go to projects. We're going to go to folders and create a folder. And I'm going to name this one 2023. Continue. Clips from longer content 2023 was created. I missed out my opportunity to open it, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and open it now. And what you will notice is that over here on the left hand side, I've got that folder there. Now, if I didn't want it anymore, like this one, I could click X on it and it would go away. So now I can upload files directly into this folder and I'm organized from the get go. Let's select file. So these are tutorials that I already have on my channel. This one's nine minutes, so that might be a good one to take a clip from. So I'm going to take both of these and click open. And so now I've got both of these videos in the folder and they're uploading. You'll notice the little wave there. It's really fun. If it takes a little while, a duck actually floats by. If uh, this were StreamYard, I would say that the little duck is puddles, but it's Canva. This is a nine minute video that I'm uploading. If things take a while, that's why. All right, while it's uploading, I might as well show you something. This is something that I started in February. And so I'm using it for March to see if it will work for me. So far, I'm loving the process. What I've done is I've got a folder called TCC, the Creator Classroom Monthly Organization 2023. I've got everything that I want to do for Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. I've even got one for Fridays. Those would be any live streams I did. Um, but this one is for the whole month of March. When I plan it, like I've got colors for specific things, like anything that's in this dark teal scion color. Basically, it means that it is uploaded into YouTube and I've already scheduled it. And these that are in the like the dark blue, I have already uploaded them into Canva or I've already uploaded them into YouTube. However, they are not scheduled yet on February 20th, on February 24th and on February 27th, I filmed the bulk of my content for March. These are shorts that have all been uploaded and they just need to be finalized. And so I've just got a system that is really working for me. And the other thing I do is I've got these um, diagrams. So this is all my Monday videos, the video diagram. And these are all in the finalized phase where I need to schedule them. That way I know that these are, this is where I am in the process. And I also put these, these little things there when I'm coming up with ideas. And so my ideas have already been deleted from that. I thought it was done based on my computer, but I wasn't, I wasn't entirely sure. We're going to take this one. I'm going to right click set video as background. And all I need to do is find this segment that I want to clip. This one might be a good one to clip. Actually, I know that when I start to play it, it's going to drag. And the reason why I love Canva so much is because I wasn't overwhelmed in the beginning because the, the, the uh, vid visuals have lagged, but I can still, I can hear the audio. Now what it can do is edit videos. So I clicked S on my keyboard to slice the videos. So now I'm going to get rid by using delete on my keyboard. I'm going to get rid of that first segment and then I'm going to see where I need to end it. I have grown with it, so I've watched it go from a very... All right, so there we go. 
You ready? I'm going to click delete and delete that whole thing. And now I've created a 29 second clip from that video. I'm not going to add any transitions because I've already edited this video fully. It doesn't need anything else. But if you wanted to add something else, you could by just selecting the elements and choosing something in your elements like the subscribe button to remind people to subscribe you can right click show timing and you'll see that it went at the end of the video here if i wanted it to be in another spot instead then i could just set my my cursor here it would show up on this instead and then I could do the same thing, right click, show timing, and then put it wherever I would like it. There it is, I can get rid of that one. So then it's there, select it, show timing, you can see where it is in your video. If you did wanna add a transition, if you hover between the two pages, you can click add and transition and you would be able to add a transition of your choice we're going to click share download mp4 every time you download something's going to pop up all you need to do is click out of it and it will continue to work in the background if you wanted this to be a youtube short instead if you have canva pro this is how you would do it you would click resize and you can resize it to, look, Instagram story video, which is the opposite side. We're gonna click this. And just so that I've got a copy of it, I'm gonna click copy and resize. And we're gonna see how that looks. It's automatically going to set it in the background how it thinks it should be. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to actually. You may need to go in and and adjust some things like for this one I would double click this and I would just go ahead and make it a little bigger and then adjust where I am and then click done and then I would click this one knowing that it is in a different spot where I'm not and I might would do something like that but you know what else I might do I would need to detach it and I would need to duplicate it and then I can set that video as background. And then I can take this and size it so that I can still be on screen like this. Oh, wait, I thought of something else I need to do. So for this one, I would need to turn off the volume because I've got two videos with volume. So this uh, allows me to change the volume for that one video clip. Edit videos. It's going to kind of disappear when you add the transition, but okay, that was not intended. Let me click S. It's not perfect, but this would be a YouTube short. Isn't always perfect. Here's a little trick. If you have Canva mobile app, you can actually download this onto your phone. And if you are on an Android, you can actually select a frame in the picture to be your thumbnail. So that's pretty cool. But I'm just going to click download and before you would download all pages. I'm actually going to skip this step because my computer just stopped working. <laughs> I mean, in terms of working so hard, but that was the Canva Pro one. I will show you the Canva free trick if you want. And that would be to take this and there's this little button called grid view. And we're going to take this and I'm going to I clicked shift on my keyboard and selected all three. And then I'm going to, I'm going to do a control C and copy. I'm going to go to the Canva homepage, go to video, go to mobile video, and I can paste it. That pasted it right end in there. And of course, I'm going to delete that first one. And this will allow me to be able to do the same process that I did with the resize. The resize is just a quicker way of being able to do that. What you didn't learn in today's tutorial was a little bit more about the Canva editing process. If that is something that you need to learn, then you're definitely going to want to check out the video that's on your screen right now. And I'll see you next time. Bye.